Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For this video, I'm trying something a little different. As you can see, I got a whole setup going here. I apologize if you hear any noise from outside. You know, the neighbors are a little loud right now, but, but in the previous video, I showcased how to find the shiny routes using nothing but ChatGPT. But this time, we're going for Feebath. That's probably one of the trickier shiny hunts in Generation 3, but through the power of ChatGPT and amazing modern technologies, we're going to actually streamline that hunt a little bit so come with me on this adventure as we hunt down shiny Feebath using the power of ChatGPT by basically adapting my shiny routes hunting script, which is programmed to look in patches of grass by walking up and down and then, you know, detecting when an encounter occurs to something that could fish. Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't work. And you also need to use the old rod for this because the old rod only requires one button press when something's on the line versus like the, uh, the more advanced rods might require two or three. So I wasn't going to mess with the other rods. So basically, the encounters that can happen are Feebass, Magikarp, and Tentacool. So we were hoping for that Feebass. First, you gotta find the right tile, and I'll walk you through how I did that, you know. But overall, it was a pretty fun project. But let's jump into it and see how it all came together. Have you ever dreamed of catching that elusive shiny Feebass, but found yourself worn out after countless hours of tedious fishing? Yes. Don't interrupt. Ah, oh, sorry. Well, folks, you're not alone. But don't hang up your rod just yet. Why not use technology to do all the hard work while you sit back, put your feet up, and relax? That's right. Now you can reel in that shiny prize without lifting a finger. Now that's my kind of shiny hunting. <laughs> we have fun here. That bit took me hours to create. Please subscribe. Please. 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 Okay. For this next part, I'm ditching the green screen. Because I mean, that's a lot of work to do all that. But... Uh, first things first, we have to find the tile where our Feebass will be spawning at. And you could go through every single tile on Route 119 and search, you know, one by one by one, until eventually you come across one that spawns Feebass, but I, I don't got time for that, you know? So, <laughs> instead I found this website uh, that has this awesome, tr nice little Feebass tile calculator. And it's pretty simple, you just gotta pick your game, so for me it's Emerald. Then you have to enter your trainer ID. So if we go into Emerald here, we can just go and see our ID here. Let's see. To the card. Okay, so we're 10408. So you just enter 10408. And now we've got, of course, you got yeah, you have all your different languages. But we're just sticking to the English. And now we got your uh, trendy phrase. So you have to go to Duford, which is where I am right now, and talk to this friendly fella. Let's see. I like what's hip, happening, and trendy. I'm always checking that. Listen, have you heard about this new lax music? That's right, of course you know. I mean, sheesh, lax music? It's the hottest thing and cool. Okay, so lax music is our... Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, lax, so lax music. You just want to say yes, so the phrase stays the same. Lax music. So we go look here. Find the first word was lax. Let's see, there it is. And we got music music there we go okay perfect and then uh, when i did this originally i just checked all these boxes to get all the different options and click calculate and boom there you go you see the map of route 119 over here just fish you know a few times each one and eventually you'll you should find your fee bass and you know so you'll probably have a different trendy phrase you just gotta enter that in there and your trainer id and this nice little calculator will figure it all out for you yes and once you find that tile just you know park yourself right there and get ready to fish because <laughs> once we get the script running you can just sit back relax and let it fish over and over and over and over and it's pretty awesome so so now that we've found our tile time to break down the script and show how it all functions so let's hop into that first we have the press button function here right after you import all of these different modules and all this is the same as the original route 102 uh, walking up and down in the grass, hunting for shiny script that I used to find shiny routes. Yeah, so this didn't really change. The fish for Feebass function handles casting and checking for bites. And it also calls upon the is call pop up function. And if it does detect one of them, it rapidly presses A to get through it and before returning to fishing. So all that is nice here. And then it prints on the screen fishing while it's doing it just to, you know, give some visual feedback. And then it waits for the bite. So press the A button for 0.1 seconds to ruin the catch. It only does that after it detects a bite. If it presses the A button too soon or too late, then it will miss and it will fail. 
And then it moves on to if it detects the encounter screen, to either press the A to start the battle, and then handle the encounter to run from if it's not shiny, or to kill the script if it is shiny. And there's a little bit of delay to avoid it overloading by just going too crazy. But then we got the wait for bite function right here, which continuously checks like every 0.1 seconds because it happens pretty fast, so it has to keep on, you know, looking at everything, continuously checking at which point it presses A right at that exact millisecond. And this function is bite message. This one actually checks the region of interest, which you have, you have to define based on the coordinates on the screen, which tells it where on the screen to kind of be paying attention to. And then I told it to use like the HSV color space to detect the color black since most of the screen is blue because of all the water. But when a message pops up in that quadrant, it's going to be black text. So when it sees black, that tells it, oh, there's the message has popped up. So let's press the A button. And I'm quite amazed I was able to get it out the work, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Once it detects the color black above the text of like something being on the line, it presses the A button and reels it in, which you know for like 99% accuracy. It gets it almost every time. And if it misses, it just tries again the next time. But it's pretty accurate. And then the is call pop up function detects the color of the little icon, the orange icon that pops up on screen when the when a call is in progress and then it just calls upon the rapidly pressing the A button function to get through it. When it detects the start of a battle, which is right here, is encounter screen. So this detects uh, the red color of May's shirt of her back sprite. And when it detects when it detects that red it knows oh a battle has begun. So let's press A to get into the encounter. And then you have the is shiny encounter function, which this is programmed to detect the specific colors of the various shiny Pokemon, which is pretty awesome. So I programmed in all the shinies that could be encountered. Yeah, you know, I had Carvan in there for a second, but that was when I was going to try to use a fancier rod. But I realized the old rod is the only one that will work with this, since you have to press A once. Having hit it twice was too tricky. <laughs> so, so the Feebas Magikarp and Tentacool. You know, I have the colors for each of those three shinies. Now I'm looking for a shiny Feebas, but if a shiny Magikarp or a Tentacle happens to pop up, I'll take it, you know? So I also pro program those in there just so it will stop if it sees one of them. But hey, you know, I'll take those shinies too. But the one I'm really looking for is the Feebas. So that's like the purpley color of it is programmed in here with the appropriate color values for all of them. And it's like a little bit of a color range it looks for there, you know? And if it detects it, it, I told I programmed it to just kill the script. I don't want to accidentally do anything. It shouldn't. So yeah, here's your hand to encounter. See, you have your uh, is shiny Pokemon. It will print shiny Pokemon encountered if it sees it, and then it does the sys dot exit, which just completely kills the script. So it stops. It stops automating. It just it sits there until I come in and look at the computer and see it, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but if it's not shiny, then it calls upon the run from encounter which is programmed up here, somewhere here you go. So it basically just goes over to the run menu. So it presses the right button, the down button, and then the A button, and then A again to confirm the got away safely message. So it fully runs from the encounter. And then once it does that, it just loops back around to the fishing. So you have the wow true fish for Feebass. So as long as this thing's running, it's gonna constantly run the fish for Feebass script, causing it to cast out the line, wait to see if it detects, you know, something on it, and then hit the A button at the appropriate interval and reel in the catch. And I got this pretty much fine-tuned working pretty well. And it was fishing very effectively. <laughs> encounter after encounter, which I'll show some of here in a second. And then I have, probably have in the background of this while I've been showing all these sections of the code, but I'm just going to scroll through the whole thing just so you'll see it all. And I'll also upload this file probably to the uh, Dropbox folder that I created that I linked in my last video when I found Shiny Routes. So if somebody wants to download this and mess with it themselves or, you know, do whatever, you can. But overall, I was impressed with how, how this worked. I had the idea back after I got the Routes one working and I thought, ooh, I wonder if I could do that. And with the help of ChatGPT and a little bit of fine tuning, we were able to get it to function. So I am very satisfied how it all works but now it's the time you've all been waiting for as I've been yapping here in the 
encounters playing out in the background, we've been slowly reaching the point where Shiny Feebass will show up. So, here you go. I'll, I'll be quiet for a second. Let's just let's watch this and and just, you know, in awe and all of the beautiful glory that it is. So here we go. Beautiful. And then here, I think I'll put in the, uh, I'll be catching this and probably the audio from the moment. I think I, I probably record something. There. So you'll hear my real reaction when I come into the room and see it. So here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Ah, I just came back in here to take a look to see the progress, and we have a shiny feedback on the screen. The time has come. Let's see, there we go. There it is. Oh, she's beautiful, finally, and it's a feedback that's shiny, and yeah, it's what I wanted, not a magic harp or a tentacle, which it could have also been. Switch over to this view. You can see my script down here. It says, oh yeah, shiny Pokemon encountered. Stopping automation. Worked perfectly, this version of the script. Fishing over and over. And we have, uh, yeah, we, it was took 3,086 encounters this time. Which is, you know, still well under odds. That's good. But, alright, uh, yeah, I've been trying this for a couple nights, letting it run. Okay. Oh, I have the perfect ball, though. Alright. I went out of my way to go and get, uh, let's see, several luxury balls. So, a luxury ball is what this beautiful, shiny pea bass is gonna go inside. Because, yeah, it's kind of, they're, they're sort of rare to acquire in Pokemon Emerald. You have to beat a master rank contest with a Pokemon that's already earned a ribbon. And then they give you a luxury ball instead. Oh boy, I only have a few though. Pray. Come on, Feebass. Stay in the ball. I have nothing that can really weaken it. Oh, come on. Do I have something that can weaken it? Um. No. Pokemon. Okay, I have another Feebass to make sure. Just to try to weaken it a little bit, to make sure I can capture it with my limited luxury balls. Because catching it at full health is a little tricky. And we don't want to have it bust out of it anymore. Okay. A few of those, I think we're fine. Okay. Oh, come on, Feebass. I know we're looking at, you know, your shiny variant. But... You gotta tackle it. At least get down to yellow health. Okay. Come on. A few more tackles. Be very careful. Don't want to get a crit and have it... Okay, one more. I'm doing one more. Oh, that was a crit. Oh, God. Okay, oh, we're leaving it there. Okay. Luxury ball, go! Want? Yes! <laughs> Victory is mine! Okay, yes, of course. What should I name a uh, shiny female Feebass? Hmm. Alright. Beautiful prism. Kind of matches the beautiful aesthetic that my little goes for. I'll be in a luxury ball nonetheless. That's, that's a good one to get in a luxury ball. A swift swim, a naughty nature. Oh, she's naughty. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Flash and tackle, classic. Encountering. Feebass after Feebass, and Magikarp after Magikarp, and Tentacle after Tentacle. I ended up with the Feebass shiny. It could have been any of the other ones. I'm so glad it was the Feebass. That's the one I really wanted. But there you have it. And that's why automation is super amazing. <laughs> Imagine sitting here for hours and hours doing the same repetitive task. You know, not to knock shiny hunters who actually do sit around for hours and hours. Yeah, you know, I've done it myself. I wanted to just see if I could make this actually function, and it was just a fun little experiment. And sure enough, it worked. <laughs> like, I now have myself an awesome shiny Feebass. That maybe I'll make a Ribbon Master, you know, and send it all the way up to Scarlet and Violet, you know. <laughs> so that would be sick. But thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more cool projects. And hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss a single video. I recently got into RNG manipulation, so maybe I'll do a video showcasing my attempt to perfect that process. See you next time. Bye.
been here before, but today feels new Casting out my line, aiming for that shiny Drive. This elusive prize keeps my hope alive The odds are long, but I'm holding tight With every cast, I'm closer to the light I'm fishing, fishing with hope so strong For that shiny big bass, I'll hold on long The water's calm, but my heart's on fire Just one more cast, and I'll find what I desire Shiny scale, shining in the light Gonna keep on fishing, day turns to night I'll calm this river till my dream comes true Shiny big bass, I'm coming for you Another bite, but the shiny's in recess Patience is key, but my will won't break I know the shiny's just a cast away to take Ooh, If my spirit's high and my focus clear I'll keep reeling in The shiny's near, I might go crazy But I feel the thrill The shiny feet bass, it's worth the chill I'm fishing, fishing with hope so strong for that shiny feet Shiny feet bass, I'll climb every hill And those waters may be deep and wide But I feel a tug and I know you can't hide I'm 